Ooh, what's going on, guys? I am Jake, the Offensive Gamer, and this is Watch Dogs Part 12. And uh, we have another investigation, little mission here. Somebody else got murdered. Isn't that neat right there? That little uh, artwork the guy did with somebody else's blood. I thought that was interesting. Uh, it's another missing person, of which I'm not sure their name. Hmm, I don't know. Here's the audio log, though. This is wrong. It's wrong. My head says it. My heart. But it's in there. It lies. She lied, too. They all lie for him. I, th I hope that was the end of it, and I didn't just, like, break it up by, uh, doing, uh, by jumping out of the, uh, down the little stairwell and, and getting injured. I don't know, but um, yeah, so that was a thing that happened, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here, and I'll see you guys in a second. And we're back! Okay, so... Let's get to this next mission. Get out of my way, motherfuckers! What are you doing? That's right. I'll ruin your life, motherfucker. High school valedictorian. Hey, it's cool, man. You're making 50k a year, and you're living in this shithole? I don't buy it. I think my phone's all messed up. I'm taking a gamble with Ben Bun, but I have a hunch he's my perfect target. He doesn't have much, has a lot to lose, easily intimidated, and ambitious, but lazy. All right, start with his home, tap his cell phone, just record everything he says. Find access to Bedbug's home. Ah, oh, here we are. Wow, this is a big fucking... Wow, alright. Um... So that's one. Shit. There we go, that's one down. Uh, that doesn't work. Fuck, that... That's a mistake. Hmm. I gotta get this one up there. That's how I'll do that. Um... There we go. That's another one. Hmm. Fuck, I'm not sure. Is that it? There we go. You said you'd take me to the swamp meet. Now, what is it you have to do that's so involved? Work, Grandma. I got work. So, you got a job now. Well, why you didn't uh, care? It's not like that, Grandma. Is that even a woman? Oh, I see. It's not a job for Tyrone. It's a job for Bedbug. Huh? Come on, Grandma. Bedbug doesn't even mean anything. <laughs> yeah, it does. It means I'm a player. A uh, what? A bedbug can get into any lady's bed. That's disgusting. <laughs> uh, I raised you better than that. Yeah. I won't wait. I gotta go, Grandma. Love you. All right. Okay, follow Bedbug to get blackmail. Remain unseen. Oh shit. All goes well. will never see it coming. Oh, he's gonna get in his car. No, he's not. Never mind. He's just gonna steal some dude's car. No? Alright, never mind. To control a village, you go in as a friend. Tell them that everybody outside that walls is some crazy fucker wants what they got. Eyes and ears in every house. You know what they're selling and you know what they're buying. You control them. Anybody step out of line? I'm abiding the traffic laws. So you gonna put in a good word for me or what? <laughs> Shit. I don't know, man. Why should I? 
call a dude? Come on. I try your ass wherever you want to go. Always on time, too, B. Never let you down. Not even once, son. True. True. But that's why I want to keep you where you are. <laughs> now, listen, though. For real. Uh, you want to move up? I ain't supposed to say nothing, but I've right, been moving weight up in Parker Square. I'll talk to him. Oh, fuck. I'll be able to cut you in. Damn, B, not so loud. Damn, man, they expecting trouble? Looks like I'm rack locking everything down. Is he going to cut through the alley? Yeah, it looks like it. So what are we, babysitters? No, soldiers, fam. Remember when flying this crew disappeared? Yeah, they stepped out of line. Iraq put him down himself. I know. Shit. Because I helped him bury the bodies. Man, don't say that shit out loud, son. You know your fan paranoid about that shit getting back to him? I'll say whatever I want. What? Are you paranoid too? Only when I'm around your ass, fam. How am I losing the target? It's right there. There. That's the blackmail I'm after. Rack hears this little gem and bedbug will be buried in a landfill. So now what? Am I still tailing him? I thought all I needed to do was get blackmail, and I have it now. I guess maybe I'm supposed to confront him in a second. Is guy is this guy just doing this on purpose to be a dick to like other people in traffic? Now he's getting out of his car. Thanks, man. You watch yourself. Always, don't be. So now what? All right, I guess I just vault over. Oh shit. Now what? <laughs> this is actually a really good hiding spot right here. Yo, check it. Big B's on the move. Sup, sup, V's. May I talk to Lil Juice? Why, yes, you may. Hello? Mother may I. Fuck me, man. Making a round? Yup. This is Drivo. What do you think? Expect anything? Nope, and it sounds like the club don't trust our rack no more. Good. Cause they'll be dealing with me soon. When I call the shots, I remember what you done. Alright, maybe I'm not hundred percent on this, but I think I might be able to follow him just through the cameras. Could be wrong, but I'm hopeful. Where where the fuck did he go? Where is he? There he is. See there's another camera right here. I think this actually might work. Shit. There he is. Grab it. What's up? Got something you want to hear, bug. Tell me. I'm not here, fam. It's me. You got that dough on you? Always. Why? <laughs> no, this is this gonna cost you. But it's worth it. Trust me. And yeah, we'll see about that. I had to replay this a couple times because I got caught. So, uh... I didn't kill one of the people that I did kill last time. Last time that you saw, that is. What the fuck is going on? Nothing, B. We just playing. Yeah, I see that. Now, you're supposed to be keeping a fucking eye out. That's what you're supposed to be doing. 
you want me to call our rack and tell him you fools could have left somebody inside? Ain't nobody got past B. Got the whole crew out. This place is tight. Better be. That's what I've been doing. Shit. There he is. Alright. Talk. Look, I'm on 500 for what I know. What the fuck do you know that's worth that much cash? Because you ain't got much time unless you pay up now, fam. Oh, you, you gonna threaten me? You don't fuck with me, man. You think Iraq won't hear about this, man? What's wrong with you? Oh, dude. Iraq? Serious? Iraq is your fucking problem. I, I, I. I mean, man, tell me what you know. This better be good. Look, it's simple. They gonna call you down to the bricks, and then they gonna kill you. That's bullshit, man. Whoa, hey, hey. What are you doing, man? Come on, fam. Get out of there, rabbit. Go, go, go. Alright, call rabbit. Who is this? The guy who just saved your ass. And I can do a lot more if you cooperate. What are the bricks? Look, look, just get me out of here, man, and I'll tell you. All right, pay attention. All right, guide Rabbit safely through the Viceroy's. I'll wait for this guy to pass. Go quickly. Yeah. Moving. He could have gone the other way around or whatever. Kill that motherfucker bug. This isn't a very good position. Shit. I don't want to die, man. Hmm. Let's see. Move. Got it. This ain't right. Did that guy see me? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, move. Okay. Ain't going out like this. Now, go. Hey. Oh, shit. Go, go. Stay low. Almost got caught there. Move ahead. Yeah. Move. Fuck. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, you said that already. Okay, now. Okay. Go, go. This ain't right. Move it. I hear you. All right. Okay, move. Ain't going out like this. We're almost there. Ah, this guy's gonna be tough. I can already tell. Come on, dude, go somewhere else. Go, go. Stay low. I don't wanna die, man. What are you I guess he's just doing it himself now? Alright. Works for me. Talk. Look, Iraq is sending bed bug to the bricks to take him out, Joe. Look, it's a fucking death sentence. Look, you have some of his toughest dudes on there, I'm telling you. Rex put a kill order on Bedbug? Yeah, man. If he can't prove himself, then he's fucking dead. You saw Bug, man. Come on, man. He ain't got no fucking chance. I was trying to warn his stupid ass. Where is this place? Sienna Brick Factory. The Bricks. Now you do what you said. You take that 500 and you get out of town. Talk to nobody. Look, that's nothing. I got you. All right, put the gun away. <laughs> I don't want to get caught with that shit. All right, uh, get in the car and get the fuck out of here. This is bad. If Bedbug's killed, I lose my way into Rossi <gasps> Fremont. Move. Bye, bye, motherfuckers.
These foot soldiers don't mean anything to Iraq, but a weak link is no place in a gang. I've seen this happen to a few guys that pull their weight and they get torn down hard. But if Bedbug can survive it, show he's got what it takes, Iraq won't just save face, he'll embrace the kid. Show him off. Kind of just waiting for like a phone call or something like that to happen. There we are. Good timing. Your sweetheart Maurice was just moaning at me. Says you got it all wrong. He's a patsy. He was set up. Wine, wine, wah, wah, wah. Hey, you mind if I drill a couple of rounds into his kneecaps? Yeah, I mind. You're so predictable. See if I do you a favor again. Actually. You need a favor. I'm setting up an ambush. I need you to bring me some explosives. Can you do that? I can do anything. Do I want to do it is the question. You... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yes. Uh, you know what? This is great. Yeah. Let me round up the boys and I'll meet you there. Okay, so I guess I'll take this time to discuss uh, what I said I would discuss in the last video. Um... You know, I'll, I'll touch on it briefly. Uh, the whole thing with Iraq and him killing that one dude for no apparent reason just doesn't make sense. The guy seems like he's a little bit more intelligent than that, and obviously he values business over anything. And so when he decides, hey, I'm just going to kill this guy for telling me something that I just asked about, that makes no sense. If it's somebody like Voss from Far Cry 3, I can buy it because that guy just doesn't give a shit. Iraq, on the other hand, is running a business. He's doing something. Killing his foot soldiers for no fucking reason whatsoever is pointless. On the other hand, yeah, you have uh, Bedbug, who seems to be a bit of a liability, but that's because he's a liability. He's not an asset. The other guy didn't prove to be anything other than a guy who was trying to help his, his um, you know, his boss. That's all that was. And he killed him because, fuck it, he's crazy, right? No, that's stupid. It's fucking stupid. It makes no sense. And it doesn't match his character correctly. So I thought it's purely for shock factor, and that's that's why I thought it was dumb. Anyway, uh, that's really the short version of it. Um, whatever. Anyway, let's get to the next mission. Hey, ah, oh, what is that? Come around back and find out. <sighs> Told you. Bring in the boys. Ah, oh, Jesus. I thought you meant the explosives. Then I would have said I was bringing the girls. But I brought that too. No, I need some help. I was hoping you could involve these guys in a gangland shooting of some sort. I got a few loose ends I need to tie up and, you know, you do owe me those favors. I don't owe you anything. Now give me the explosives, something I can carry. These two nutsacks are some unfinished business from a Gabonese job. You should have seen the way that they tried to take me out. I am driving this beast of a muscle car right out of the 70s. You know when an automobile accident was still called a fucking car crash? Go. Yeah, so these geniuses here think they're going to ram me off the road with some plastic eco-friendly shit bug. It just makes this weird ping and bounces off into a park van. Here, hold that. Great. <clears throat> Thanks. This is what I have for you. It's a uh, sticky bomb. See? It sticks. Cool, huh? Mm. So these two idiots are sitting in their car moaning and whining. They're all fucked up. I don't know whether to laugh at them or scream at them. Finally, I just pulled out my 45 and slammed a couple of rounds into their fat faces. So that's what I have. You deal with all this for me? No way. We could just do that. Do that. Yeah, it's like a like a practice round. What do you think, fellas? Practice round? Jordy. I don't need a practice round. No, just let me get a little clearer. Jordy! <laughs> I like Jordy's character. A little bit of comic relief, but at the same time, he's clearly a badass, you know? If he wants to do something, he can fucking do it. Alright, so where's where's the sticky bomb? Do I just plant it? Uh, IEDs are remotely detonated sticky bombs. Equip an IED in the weapon wheel. Hold RB to aim and release a throw. Um, okay. Hmm. 
Huh. Alright. Just fucking right there. There you go. Perfect. And I don't know how big this explosion is going to be, so I'm going to go ahead and hide right here. That was some weak shit. What was that? You fucking kidding me? Probably should get out of here, too. I don't know, cops might get called or something. I like the explosions in this game, though. They feel very powerful. Or, well, not powerful, but realistic. You know, I can hear the debris crashing and shit. Rax men, we're gonna kill Bedbug right here. They don't need the complications. Alright. Just lay out an ambush, take these guys out. Word will get back to Iraq, Bedbug's rep goes up. And it's mine. Find the security footage to plan your attack. It's abandoned. They must keep security cameras running. I'm gonna just throw these up there just in case. You never know if you need them. That might be necessary, too. Because, I, I don't know, this seems like the perfect area for an attack to, uh, to take place. Was that not it? There! You didn't blow yourself up. <laughs> not yet. Just trying to figure out where these guys meet so I can have some surprises waiting for them. Ooh, booby traps, fun. Alright, so I got two minutes. Prepare an ambush against the, um, Viceroy Hitmen. Sorry, I had to stop recording, uh, during that. There was some copyrighted music, so I kind of had to leave that whole thing out. Oh well. Hack the phone to intercept the call. Hello? Your friends can't come to the phone right now. They're dead. Getting away. The report to Iraq. Bedbugs as good as dead. Shit. This isn't good. I think it's within 200 meters I have to get. Yeah. I guess that's the rule. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? How about that? Shit, I think he got a good hit on me. I was disoriented there. I just bought Bedbug the reputation he always wanted. Now, I need to scare him over to my side. A little blackmail threat should convince him to help me. I give, but I can also take away. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to condense this, but it's been almost it's been like close to an hour since I started recording. This has just been one fuck up ever after another. It's just been, it's been really bad. I'm gonna be having to do some heavy editing here. Hello? Why'd you hang up on me? What the fuck? Man, who are you? Just another player. They had a 
job for you. But it's not a job for Tyrone. It's a job for Bedbug. I'll be in touch. Man, but what, what is this? Uh, come on, man! No way. I said no way. Now what? Why did... hey, somebody's after me. Uh, they're, they're all dead. Still, you, you gotta get me out of here. I'm you fucked in the head, man. Head. Hey, listen to you. That ain't funny. Hey, buddy, you think you're funny? No, 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 wait, wait. No, Shit. No, no. Now what? Okay, so hack the terminal to display bed bugs blackmail. What about our rack? No, 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 stop it. No, don't worry about our rack, worry about me. No, it sounds like the club don't trust our rack. Yeah, you hear me, mister? You are out of it. What you want? You're gonna be my eyes and ears inside Rossi Fremont. Uh, no, 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 wait, man, our rack would kill me. Yeah, what will he do when I send him everything I've got? You want to see more? No. Just erase this shit, please. Will you play along like a good little bug? And I will. I'll be in touch. Where <sighs> about me? No, it sounds like the club. All right. That'll be the last mission for today. I'm just going to hold on just in case there's some, uh, you know, phone call or soliloquy that he goes under. Anything like that. Anytime now. Just waiting. There we are. Why you keep calling me, man? You're going to get me killed. Tell me how to get close to Iraq. Uh, you ain't getting close to Iraq, man. Uh, forget it. He never comes out. You want to rethink your answer? Uh, uh, wait, wait. Uh, the, the, the auction. Uh, he, he'll be at Quinn's auction. What kind of auction? Prizes. Yeah, uh, like, like, uh, not your normal kind of auction. Uh, the invite only. So get me an invite. Uh, who do you think I am? All right. All right. I'll be in touch. Be ready. All right, is that it? Is that all you got for this? Nope. How did it go? Did you find a way into IREX building? Yeah, bedbugs on board and waiting for my call. Let's talk about the access card Iraq was wearing. That's our only way into his room. It's an RFID tag. We can clone it, but you need to get very close. Bedbug says Iraq's attending an auction. That's my chance. The auction, yes. Remember that briefcase Irak had? Hard to forget. Crush the guy's skull with it. Right. He said it had the guest list inside. You can thank me now because I've been tracking that case. Now let me check. That was quick thinking. If we get that briefcase, can you find me a name on the guest list? Name I can borrow. Exactly my thoughts. I'm sending the briefcase location now. Alright, I guess that's it. Okay, so this has been a very long part. Um, I'm going to be doing these somewhat sparingly while Murdered Soul Suspect is being done. Uh, don't worry, I will get to this um, more frequently afterwards, but until then it'll probably be three parts for Murdered and then one part for Watch Dogs every day until I get that done. Anyway, um, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll pick it up in the next one, I guess. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and all that. And I will see you guys next time.